From teen heartthrobs to grumpy old men and the Hollywood royalty in between. Celebrities worldwide have been chiming in on Israel's military offensive in Gaza. And it's proven to be a political and tweetable issue dividing them. Maybe you don't care that Selena Gomez is praying for Gaza and that Blossom, I mean Mayim Bialik from The Big Bang Theory, really supports the Israeli army. But when it comes to public opinion, the spotlight these stars cast on issues can potentially influence a lot of people. But with great power comes great controversy? Rihanna kicked off the latest round with a tweet and quick delete of hashtag Free Palestine. One Direction's Zayn Malik posted the same hashtag to his 13 million followers and left it up. That earned him 300,000 retweets and a whole lot of death threats. People are angry, like Joan Rivers, who in her support for Israel, showed no sympathy when asked about Gaza's many dead civilians. I don't care. They started it. That's not what Spanish actors Javier Bardem and Penelope Cruz felt when they signed an open letter denouncing Israel's offensive as, quote, genocide. The letter also urged Israel to lift its blockade of Gaza and blasted Israel's occupation of Palestinian land. But of course, not everyone agreed with that letter. The backlash and accusations of anti-Semitism that followed, including a letter from John Voigt, aka Angelina Jolie's dad, were so fierce that both Bardem and Cruz issued statements to clarify their great respect for Israelis and their hope for peace. Others have set their sights on Hamas. Bill Maher tweeted, Dealing with Hamas is like dealing with a crazy woman who's trying to kill you. You can only hold her wrists for so long before you have to slap her. Really, Bill? Really? Howard Stern took a remarkably less sexist tone. I'm so tired of the bullshit. If you're anti-Israel, then you're anti-America. But singer John Legend actually faulted America, venting that he is so sick watching our Secretary of State have to grovel so hard to tell Israel how much he loves them, while the Israeli cabinet shits on him. And Russell Brand and Fox's Sean Hannity battled in back and forth videos. They've shown too much restraint. They just says things about you've shown too much restraint. What they're doing now is no about right. Is Actually, it's about right. And Sean Hannity, you remember I live with an idiot inside my brain. Israel's bombing of hospitals led to global outrage, but Mark Ruffalo tweeted such bombing should be off limits. The backlash was so harsh he had to defend himself. Empathizing with Gaza does not make me anti-Semitic, nor pro-Hamas, or anti-Israel. It makes me human. It's still a dicey topic, but things have come a long way since a 1978 smear campaign against actress Vanessa Redgrave, who supported the Palestinian cause. A recent Pew poll shows young Americans blame Israel more than Hamas for the violence, unlike the rest of the country. But will this always be a taboo subject to touch? What do you think? Do stars' opinions matter to you or make you want to learn more?